Welcome to the DecoCon tutorial movie sequence. This sequence of movies is going to take you through most of the steps you need to know to create an image from start to finish. You'll learn to open and size the background picture, how to clean up that picture and use the clone tool, how to define areas for concrete, add soldier course borders, add in circles and templates, add in plants and shadows, and finally saving and printing your before and after picture. I recommend that you watch these movies in order the first time through. Start with number one and go all the way through to number seven. Because they are in a logical order that you would actually be creating an image, it's going to help you understand what tools work where. Of course, once you watch them through, you can always skip to say Soldier Corps Borders if you need a refresher just on that. The first thing you will notice that many of the icons up here are grayed out. That means that basically they're not going to work. And the reason is right now there's nothing on the screen. So there's nothing to save, nothing to print, nothing to draw on, and you can't get to the pattern library because you need a picture on the screen for these to work. So the first thing you need to do is open up the picture that you want to create an image of. To do that, simply go to the open image icon. Then you'll want to navigate to the folder and hard drive where you have that picture saved. One quick word of advice, a lot of people think it's better to save things under my documents and users backslash your name backslash my pictures. I do not recommend it. I recommend that you make a folder on your C drive and place your files in there or on an external drive so if your computer does crash someday you have everything backed up. I personally save everything on an external hard drive. So I'm going to go to that external hard drive. I'll navigate to the folder where I have my image and then I'll simply select on the image by double clicking it. Now you notice this is going to happen to you that the picture is too large to fill up the screen meaning I have to scroll around to see the whole picture. Now a lot of people think that more is better and it's not always the case especially when you're printing on an inkjet printer or you're going to be emailing this picture to say the homeowner or placing it on your website. Sometimes it's just too big. The other thing too is Depending on how much RAM you got, it takes up more memory in your computer to have a bigger picture. Moral of the story is size the picture down. First thing you should do. So go over here to File, click on Background Image, and go to Resize. So what this is telling me is that this image is 25 hundred pixels wide. So I'm going to size that down to somewhere between 1200 and 1500. I'm going to do 1200 right now because I'm recording these movies in 1024. So even 1200 is going to be a little bit bigger than my screen. You don't need to do anything about height because it will automatically be sized as long as you have maintain aspect ratio checked with the check mark in there. So I've got that set. I click OK and my picture is sized down and as you can see I could see most of the image on my screen without zooming in or zooming out. Now that you have the image sized down it's a good idea to save it as your before picture already sized down. So what you do is you go up here to file click on save as navigate to the folder where you want to save it change the files of type to JPEG because your before picture doesn't really need to be um, an LND at this point and then give it a name mine happens to be named brown house driveway before but yours would probably be named by default a bunch of random numbers that your camera gave the picture so you want to name it the name of the customer and you can say driveway before so I'm going to say this is the Jones's driveway before so now I labeled it as a before and I've given it the name of the customer now of course you don't have to do it this way you could do whatever you want I'm just giving you recommendations my father gave me recommendations when I was a kid and I didn't always follow his instructions either